This isn't the first spring snowstorm Big Rock has seen. During the last ice age, 10 to 30,000 years ago, this rock fell off of one of the Rocky Mountains near Jasper, most likely Mount Edith Cavell, landed on a glacier and was carried all the way to Rocky Mountain House. These stones are called erratics. So there's probably eight feet of that rock that you can't see below ground level. Big Rock is one of numerous erratics that a glacier carried along its path southward along the foothills. It's estimated to weigh 6.3 million kilograms. As an erratic, it's small by Ice Age standards. This one in Okotoks is over twice as big and much more famous. In fact, Okotoks comes from the Blackfoot name for rock, Okotok. And this erratic is designated as a provincial historic resource. While the big rock in Rocky Mountain House doesn't share such fame, it does have a good story to tell. In the 1700s, members of the Ojibwa from the Sault Ste. Marie area in Ontario came to this area and became known as the Chippewa. These people followed the fur trade west and they became most of the trappers that supplied the fur trade posts. In 1790 at Big Rock, the Chippewa chief's wife was ready to deliver her baby. They were camped here and she went behind the rock to have her baby. The baby was called Hakamasan, Chippewa for the other side of the rock. He would later become chief of the tribe. In the 1800s, Big Rock was a well-known landmark to both the Chippewa and fur traders alike. The Northwest Company's fur trading post was just three kilometers away. Today, there's a walking path right next to Big Rock. And a few years ago, some trees were removed so that the erratic could be clearly seen by passing motorists on Highway 11.